What's going on, everybody? Tom Quiet here, live and amplified. I hope y'all are having an absolutely amazing, amazing day. We are back with another traditional reacts video. And no, it is not Sunday, but I saw this video pop up on my feed shortly after I released this past Sunday's episode and was like, I want to react to this. I have to react to it now. Um, and so I decided to uh, release this a couple days after our traditional reacts video. Um, so the video I'm talking about is from Emma McCann. Uh, if you're not familiar with her, she is a musical Twitch streamer. Uh, she streams on Twitch and she releases original music and she's really cool. I uh, really enjoy watching her streams when I can. Um, and she released a video called I built a music studio in the jungle and I thought, hey, what the hell? Let's check it out. So we're going to do that today and uh, let's jump right into it. We right, took over 1,000 pieces of wood and built a music studio in a tree house. Because nice. Why not? And it's overlooking a tropical jungle. I get a lot of questions okay, from people about my backdrop fair, fair, fair. and my setup. And sometimes comments saying, It's just a green screen. Let me debunk that and <laughs> show you exactly what's inside, how it was made, and why this is even a thing. This space is my home studio as a music streamer, a songwriter, okay, and content cool, cool. creator. There's room for my drum kit, vocal booth, live stream setup, control room. I love it. And that a cozy so corner sick. for the pug, most importantly. But it didn't always look this way. My backdrop has slowly got more ridiculous as the <laughs> years have gone on. In 2020, I shared a four-part series on my old studio build and the lengths we went to to make my streams visually striking, interactive for the audience, and functional nice. for content creation for me. Fair, Those are the fair, three fair. goals I try to hit whenever we kind of revamp the space. You can watch this old series here if you want to, but bear in <laughs> mind that some of the equipment and the recommendations mentioned uh, over there, yeah. they might be a little bit outdated at this point. It's been, what, like it's three years? Especially, years. is wow, that a... 2024. Ooh. There's some good pointers for streamers Black Magic in there production for sure, camera? so check it out if it applies to you. This old setup was just in the spare room of my mm -hmm. old house, so mm. imagine what we could do with even just a little bit more space. Well, recently we had the opportunity to do... Now, she's stuff, always had so like a jungle theme, I feel like, in and her streams. Anything you've ever seen before. So, the build. First step was the interior plan, and for mm. this we used Unreal Engine 5 to plot out the exact measurements of the room before committing to the build itself. This meant we nice. could kind of trial different layouts before laying cables, outlets, and equipment. And it gave us a visual of how the space would work overall. Nowadays, I'm using Unreal Engine for so many creative projects. Maybe some of you guys have seen the four music videos from my last EP, The Monsterverse. All of those That's videos cool. were virtually produced inside of Unreal Engine. It's an incredibly versatile tool that I never shut up about. In this instance, it really helped us with the room design in the very early stages. And it also helped power a pretty vital visual feature of the treehouse behind me but more on that later so on day one of the build we had the Sweet. shell of a log cabin as our blueprint <clears throat> and treated and sprayed every single piece of wood separately before we built it and it took forever we built the structure yeah. on the ground first and that alone took well over four weeks because of terrible weather conditions so while we wait for the storm to ease off why a jungle and why a treehouse it all started with mm. this ball of fake ivy my grandma had this and a whole load of other faux flowers that she used for crafts she was always this is a really, really cool look inside so to on building a backdrop. studio Back i've never thought really of doing something like this brick wall as a backdrop which worked fine mm -hmm. then over the years that string of ivy slowly swallowed yep. the brick wall completely evolved into this and now this so really i have my grandma to thank for this set design and nice. uh, myself to that's blame cool. for how much that's it really cool. spiraled out of control back to the treehouse after the first four weeks the build really started that to slide like, what the hell are you doing? we had a uh, shell built floor down walls plastered sockets sorted my mom even helped with some of the cabling jobs that needed to be done and after that the interior mm. was finally ready for the set design i did mention that it's set right mm. not real not real and okay. also, most importantly, not a green screen. Yeah, no Brazilian rainforest back there. More like Coventry, UK. So what we wanted to achieve <laughs> with funny. this new set design was realism. My previous backdrops were obviously grass panels on the walls in a box room, which everybody had started to do. At so that obviously, point. this so title's a little clickbaity, but the extra still really cool really make people because. Question. Where the it is was. what it says we it decided is. decided the best way to sell the illusion was with windows. Mm -hmm. And putting in actual windows wouldn't have worked well because in real life, you'd just be looking out onto my bins. Uh, <clears throat> there's so much wildlife out here. Look, look That's at that funny. wildlife. 
not the most convincing jungle. So here's what we did. We took three large screens placed across these two walls of the interior. Our camera is set up in one corner of the room pointed towards the opposite corner of the room. Mm -hmm. This means we get the most out of the depth of the room that we're working with. And with our windows at these angles on camera, mm -hmm. we can use some pretty clever tricks to sell the illusion even more. So what's up with the jungle outside? It's obviously not just static desktop wallpapers. They're mm -hmm. animated over time. There's movement in the trees, there's falling leaves, and there's even a day-night cycle. You can even see the shadows cast from the sun moving That's across That's cool. Like the fact that they got a day-night cycle. How is that even happening? The answer is virtual production. We're running UE5 in real time for what you see out there. It's a 3D jungle-scape scene in a virtual That's environment sick. with virtual cameras outputting across each of these three screens. That's really so sick. Whatever okay, in so virtual scene appears on our windows. But there was a number of things that we had to consider to achieve the realism Damn, we okay. wanted with this window idea. Firstly, the colors of each TV. We're using different brand name screens, which I would not recommend. We yeah. did it to save on cost. So we've had a to tinker a lot in the settings to get the color grade of each yep. screen as identical as possible. Okay, because okay, that explains illusion. a little bit because Next, the, the two the right behind her look almost identical, the but then this the one focus. to the left if there, were in focus uh, and you saw the this screens one as right above the drum TV, kit looks a little bit more saturated. It also means that because but it also could be we don't have to run this jungle scape scene with all these three D models within. And real at its highest quality so hmm. we save on the processing power we don't put too much pressure on the hundreds of hamsters on their wheels powering up the pcs that run unreal engine live everyone's aware huh. next that's was the depth of the window frames we wanted these to appear quite deep to create a kind of realistic perspective so that's cool your eye tells you that you're not just looking at a flat screen what we did was we added a wooden object virtually in the scene to pose as the inner window frame in 3d it's a small detail but i think it's a really effective kind of thing for the illusion it means that you really see those shadows that the sun cast across the window frame as well as the day-night nice. cycle plays through. Our she had to drop a lot of money too. into this. Our friend Dave built these really simple and effective wooden frames that mm -hmm. hang over the top of the TV. They hide the black rim and mm -hmm. the blinky lights at the bottom that obviously expose the screens for what mm. they really are. But what about the rest of the interior? What you're seeing here are fencing panels, just ordinary fencing panels, and there's hundreds of them. Every single one has been scorched individually with a blowtorch. That's One at a cool. time, the effect is so worth it. It gives you a textured, contrasted prop plank look. That I'm works getting really so well. many ideas I was right able now. To some of the grass so many ideas. From my old studio to create this effect of the jungle breaking through the sides of the house. Added some ivy, some vines, and hey, look, we're in a jungle, kind of. When I think of a treehouse, the first thing I think of is the one from The Simpsons. And typically, <laughs> you always see the tree itself growing oh, through that's the funny. structure in some way. So to add to the whole nature breaking in Wait, idea, so I decided she... to try and build my own tree that would work in a similar way. Huh, okay. It's made out of Amazon boxes, anaglypta wallpaper, for nice. the bark texture, and some dried out branches harvested from hydrangea bushes in my garden. Another reason for the tree, and probably the main reason, was for my dog to have a cozy and very elaborate a dog bed where she can cuddle up. You know like that That's scene funny. from Lord of the Rings where they're hiding from the screeching things into the tree roots? Mm -hmm. It's like that, but more cozy, less screeching, less hobbit feet. And now she finally has a space to guard the ring that rules them all. And I guess the last reason for the tree is so that it appears like those branches are holding up the roof up there. I'm super pleased with the result. It, it looks kind of mm. cool. And it doubles up as a hidey hole for all the shit that I usually leave around the studio so people don't think I'm messy. Fair. It's a winner. There's so many things and it's also because of where it's at yet. in the shot the if it's slightly out of focus the ways people interact you can't with the even if you could tell street, like just so looking at it that it's not a, like these in future videos. a realistic in the meantime, looking tree but because it's just out of focus any of my twitch streams uh, to see it in action if you want it, I go live it looks pretty Mondays, realistic Wednesdays, that's Fridays, cool. and Sundays from 9 p.m UK time we always do live music, either mm -hmm. on guitar, vocals, or on drums these days as well. And every song That's we cool. play is picked by people in chat. Also, comment below if you have any questions about the build, about Unreal Engine, or anything relating to your own setups. I'll be happy to help. I'm gonna have to look into if Unreal you're Engine. About building Although, a set for you, always think with functionality in mind first. Mm -hmm. How is it going to help you create content easier? As a pointer, here's a reminder of those three goals I mentioned earlier that I try to achieve whenever we're kind of 
working on the space. Number one, it has to be visually striking. Number two, try and make it interactive mm -hmm. for viewers if that's something that you do. And number three, most importantly, needs to be functional for you. I yep. have a lot of people to yep, thank yep. for their help in the build of this thing. Uh, I'm especially say, patrons on Patreon and our community video, on Twitch who largely this helped build me had to, to be insanely thing, expensive. So thank you guys. On hand for the build, a huge thanks to my partner James, who headed up a lot of the technical aspects and mm -hmm. continues to do that in the background. Our good friend Al, who helps with a lot of the custom coding that we need. Our friend Dave, who nice. helped with the build of the structure inside and out. Our families and friends who chipped in across the year, mm. uh, hammer and nails, soundproofing walls, and a whole lot more. And a special thanks to my mum. She was with us during the build and, like I said, helped on the days that she could. We lost her in October. Oh. One thing that she wanted me to do was to use this space as much as possible and enjoy it. Um, I'm happy she got to see it be built and being in here writing and creating makes me feel close to her. So the biggest thank you is for my mum. Thank you very much for watching nice. this crazy video of this nonsense. <laughs> Hope to see you on a Twitch That's really soon. cool. Bye. That's a really cool Twitch build. I love it so much. Nice. That one hits a little too close to home. But anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it was also perfect in a lot of ways because, you know, we started streaming on Twitch back at the end of 2021. And, you know, just kind of seeing Twitch streamers taking these chances and building out like legitimate studio style sets but they're also very functional uh having been on plenty of sets where a lot of stuff isn't quote unquote functional um that's really cool that uh she, emma kind of put that in the back of her head um yeah so that's going to be it for today. We're going to um, wrap it there. Uh, if you all have anything you'd like me to react to, please feel free to reach out um, and we will talk to you all later. See you.